For the second year in a row, Easter will once again be impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The CDC has released guidance ahead of Easter Sunday, laying out what they recommend for holiday gatherings. Tonight, we're hearing advice from a local doctor on what you should consider as you make your Easter plans. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the details. Well, for a second year, Easter plans will need to conform to a pandemic. What's different this year is now some are vaccinated against COVID-19. But what are the guidelines if some have the vaccine and others don't? I asked a local doctor to explain. Less than a quarter of the state's population is fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Even as the state is making progress on the vaccination front, a local doctor says it's important to incorporate CDC guidance into your Easter plans. We need to be incredibly careful, even with these spring holidays. The Center for Disease Control issued guidance ahead of Easter. The CDC says if you are fully vaccinated, you can gather indoors without a mask. It's still encouraged to social distance and wear masks with others not vaccinated and keep gathering small. Chief of Emergency Medicine at Kent Hospital, Dr. Laura Foreman, explained if you're fully vaccinated, it's okay to mingle with non-vaccinated people in your bubble, but if you're having a gathering with extended loved ones, masks and social distancing should be a must. This is an emotional and, and difficult thing, but we really need to be staying home. We need to be staying distanced. We need to be really limiting the number of people that we are exposing ourselves to. The Department of Health is asking Rhode Islanders celebrating with anyone outside of your household to get tested in the days leading to the holiday. As for church services, there is currently an in-person capacity limit set at 75% in Rhode Island, so reserving a seat at churches across the state may be a challenge. Virtual services are an alternative option. Now a reminder, in Rhode Island, social gatherings are limited to two households indoors and three outdoors. A spokesperson for the Department of Health tells me more Easter guidance will be discussed at Thursday's weekly briefing. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.